So we all collaborated on a needs assessment. What ended up happening is that digital citizenship was turning up uh, from every teacher who was being seen as an issue to address. Specifically, cell phone use and social media use were a distraction in learning. We looked at the code of conduct and tried to make it something more functional for the student users, for the learners. So code of conduct became more of a guideline, um, and we actually called that the professional working and learning environment. We also tried to summarize long paragraphs that weren't necessarily making sense to the reader identified themes in a point form much more specific. The Take 10 for Technology concept emerged from the idea that people were using their cell phones, checking their messages, texting throughout the class without having an appropriate time to do it or not even being aware when the time was appropriate to do so. So we tried to set a specific time where students would actually take 10 to check their technology, but we gave them strategies to go with it so that if it is tech time, um, they would definitely check their messages, identify what was urgent and what can wait. Um, they would use that time to network with classmates also. And then the most important thing was to refocus and get ready to work again at the end of that tech time. Finally, the general etiquette or netiquette for using the cell phone, would it would be muted um, or in vibrate mode, but it should remain face down on the desk or even put away altogether, knowing that we have a tech time coming when it will be appropriate to use that. The next step was probably the most important. It was launching this whole concept with the students to get them used to the idea of take 10 for tech by putting posters up in the center so it was visible for them. And then we did a video conference with students so they could participate in the reasons behind it and just to indicate that we were trying to help them uh, develop this professional learning habit and to try and model for them what the expectations were and reduce our frustration in always saying, well, they don't know how to use the technology or they don't know how to use a cell phone appropriately. So that we took another twist on that and tried to indicate that we should show them how. That's probably the bigger problem is that they don't know how to use it in a professional environment. So we needed to model that or we needed to uh, share that concept with them and help them through the process.